Hi there, this is Sarah with WHMCS. Today, we're going to configure automation for a WHMCS installation. WHMCS runs its automation through the use of a cron job that executes tasks at designated times. The cron job is responsible for invoice generation, payment capture, provisioning, and more. You should set up the cron job during installation, so we won't do that here. If you need to find the cron command later, you can find it with the rest of your automation configuration. Just click the configuration icon, choose System Settings, and then find Automation Settings. The badges at the top of the page will show you the cron status. Click on the left one to view the cron command. We recommend running this every five minutes. Below the badges, you will find all of the automation settings for your installation. The first setting, time of day, determines when the system runs its daily tasks. The automatic module function settings control how WHMCS handles suspensions and terminations. You can enable and disable suspension, unsuspension, and termination. You can also choose the length of suspensions and the time between a service becoming overdue and the termination for that service. The billing settings control invoice generation, late fees, overages, and payment reminders. You can set when to generate invoices, create separate invoice generation settings for each billing cycle, provide settings for generating invoices for domain renewals, sending payment reminders, adding late fees, charging for overage billing, or changing invoice statuses and you can set when to change due dates when a payment is reversed. The payment capture settings determine how the system charges your customers and how it handles their payment methods. This includes setting when you want to capture payment ahead of a due date, how many times to attempt capture, when to send notices that a card is expiring, and how to handle expired cards. If you use our multi-currency system, the currency auto update settings will let you set whether to automatically update exchange rates and whether to update your pricing according to those exchange rate changes. Domain reminder settings determine how WHMCS sends domain renewal notices. You can configure settings for up to five reminders and configure whether to send reminders for free domains. The domain synchronization feature ensures that the next due date, expiration date, and status are up to date for your client's domains. Here, you can use the domain sync settings to enable and disable domain synchronization, choose whether it should send notifications or actually make the changes, how often to sync data, and whether to check the status of pending transfers. For support tickets, the automation settings let you choose whether to close inactive tickets automatically and whether to prune attachments from support tickets after a set amount of time. The amount of space your WHMCS installation uses is an important concern, and the data retention settings will give you control over many related factors. You can set WHMCS to automatically delete inactive clients after a set number of months, and whether to delete the users who are associated with those clients if they aren't associated with other active clients. In addition to these major categories, additional automation settings will let you choose whether to automatically terminate accounts that have submitted a cancellation request, whether to update statistics each time the cron runs, whether to change client statuses based on the status of their active or inactive products, and whether to prune the module log. When you've configured everything for your desired automation configuration, click Save Changes. Your new settings will take effect the next time that automation runs. You can find out more about each of these settings in our documentation. There are links to all of the most important information in the description under this video. We hope this video helped you get the most out of this feature. If it did, make sure to like and share.
For more information about WHMCS, subscribe under the video or visit whmcs.com.